So I've created a chart here in Excel and I'd like to put it into a PowerPoint presentation so that when I update the chart here, then it updates in PowerPoint too. And it does the same thing if I was to copy it across into Word. So let's just take a look at how I do that. So firstly, here is my chart. And as you know, if you make a change to a chart, it will change dynamically here as well. So if I change any of these numbers, let's just put that back to 200, you can see it changes. And you want to do that as well if you maybe put this into PowerPoint or Word. So how do you do that? Well, firstly, we just need to copy it. So I can just click on the chart. I could choose copy from the ribbon at the top here in the top left. And by the way, I'm using this on a Mac, but it works the same in Windows as well. I could also right click and choose copy, or I could use the shortcut keys on Windows Control C and on the Mac Command C to do the same thing. All I now need to do is go over to PowerPoint. We'll start in PowerPoint. And you can now just right click and choose paste. And in this case, it's popping up with the option to give additional permissions to access the following files. I'm going to choose select. And it's taken me to that file and I'm going to click on grant access. Because now if I go back to Excel and I make that change, well, a different one, but let's go back now to PowerPoint and you'll see it has changed here as well. Now, I'm just going to go into new slide because the other option I had was to go up to the top here, click on this drop down next to paste, choose paste special, and I'm choosing a Microsoft, Microsoft Office graphic object. Let's click on OK and it puts it in. Now you would have seen that this one here I go back to paste special has this this option at the top microsoft excel chart object but i find that that hasn't been working when i've done it now again if i make changes it will change it back here so back to excel quickly so one of the things i'm going to do here is just change the chart title because i did notice that when i changed it to sales for 2021 and i then went back to powerpoints and you'll notice that that hasn't updated. I can actually just put the chart title in here. So they're in this part of it is independent. And actually that might be a good thing because you might just want to make other changes. Really what you're focused on here is the data. So the other place you could put it is into Word. I'm in here in Word now. And again, I could just go paste, paste special, and then again, so over here, I can now choose the Microsoft Office graphic object, click on OK, and again, it's pasted it in here. And I could do things like change the chart title. Let's just put in sales here. And again, let me just update the Excel data and back to Word. And look at that, it's changed. So this is really handy. So it keeps things up to date for you. How often are you working on a presentation? You want to put the chart in either into a document or a presentation and you're still working on the data or maybe you just want to use the same one as a template for later, but the data has updated. I do have a video on how you can do this as a picture and I've got a link to that in the description. If you were to save this as a picture and you could do this in Excel or PowerPoint, you can just right click save as picture and you could just have sales charts and then you can actually take that and send it via an email put it into social media or onto a website just bear in mind that the picture doesn't update thanks for watching hope this was helpful if you do like this please do like share and subscribe and come back for more